When I got to Wayne University, I, I, got, I went into engineering. I said, I, I want to build homes. I want to become a home builder. And uh, as a matter of fact, I was left-handed, and I knew there was a lot of drafting. I started learning how to write with my right hand, and I changed over. I can write with both hands now. <laughs> uh, but, you know, a funny thing happened. Uh, the more I got into it, the geometry and the drafting, the less eager I was, I began to realize, why did I want to be build homes? And I can remember one day, my younger brother Nathan came to me, and he said, John, I, you know what, I've been thinking about becoming a lawyer and, and uh, go to law school. I don't know why I said this to him. I said, Nathan, sit down. If you go into any library and you look in the, the, room, the, the dustiest books with the most cobwebs, I said, there couldn't be anything more dull than going to law school and becoming a lawyer. I gave him a big lecture free of charge from what source that I got this, I have no idea. But I, I remember it so profoundly because I ended up going to law school before he did. <laughs> and we laugh, we have a great time about that, that how I told him I put down law as a field. And I went right into it myself. And then he did too. And I, then so did my other brother. What's the, what was the big attraction? My father's influence. And it was a funny thing, he never liked Unfortunately, I do. I want my boys to become lawyers very badly, <laughs> and, and they know it. But he never did that with us. But there were all the books, all the evidence <laughs> was all around us, so he didn't have to lecture us. Did, and, you, did and you have black role models of black lawyers in the community or that you'd heard of, or, or no? Uh, there were, there may have been uh, labor lawyers. I don't remember any uh, uh, black lawyers in particular that, that made me role models, but people that were a few years ahead of me, Bill Patrick, who was the first African-American councilman in Detroit, was a lawyer. And uh, matter of fact, no, Damon Keith, he started his firm, and, and my brother worked, became a partner in his firm. But uh, it, it seemed to me a, a natural way to go. And then when I went to Korea and served there a, tur a tour of duty, I said, if I ever get back here alive, I'm going to find out <laughs> why I got sent here in the first place. And I used to come, I went to Officer Candidate School in uh, Fort Belvoir, Virginia, Engineer Officer Candidate School. And I'd come and sit in the gallery, and I'd look down at the members of Congress, and they seemed to be sitting around talking to each other. And I said, I could do that. What's, what's the, the big deal? And sure enough, boy, I, as soon as I came back, I finished up my uh, pre-law, I was a history major, and uh, I was under uh, the head of the law department, Dr. Alvin Kelly, uh, had participated in Brown versus the Board of Education uh, to prove that there's no such thing as separate but equal. And he had and he'd written, we all used his textbooks, and, and uh, boy, I couldn't wait to get to law school then. I, it was, it was, I was bound and determined.